I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on functions. Now let us discuss what are even functions and what are odd functions. So I will kind of give you overview about this. Let me begin by sketching functions which are even and functions which are odd. So the function which comes to my mind as even function is a parabola y equals to x squared. So I am basically sketching some uh, parent functions. For the odd function, the simplest example is a straight line y equals to x. So these are even and odd functions. Now what do we mean by this? If the function is an even function, then it is symmetric about y-axis. That is how you could see from the graph. If it is an odd function, then the symmetry is about origin. So about a point basically. We normally say it is about a point which is origin. In this case about a line which is y equals to which is y axis, right? So about a line which is the equation of this line is x is equals to zero. Okay. Now here it is about origin which is zero zero. Okay. That is how we figure out even and odd functions from a graph, right? How do we find it algebraically? Let's now see into that part. Algebraically, if I try to find f of minus x and I get f of x, then it is even. It is odd if I find f of minus x and I get negative of f of x then it is odd that's the whole idea correct so algebraically we could do it like this to give you a simple example let's take a few functions then we will know exactly whether they are even or odd so as far as trigonometric functions are concerned if i have y equals to let's say tan x Oh, I wrote it here. It's an odd function. Let me write here. Y equals to tan x. Now, if I find the value of this function for minus x, then in that case, what we know is tan of minus x is equals to minus of tan x. You know that. So, it's an odd function. Correct? The, the graph of this function is kind of like this. Well, if that is pi by 2 plus and minus, then the graph of this tan x function is kind of like this. Now, to make this tan x as an even function, what I could do here is I could multiply this by another odd function, which is sin x. So, so what is, let's say this is of f of x for us, right? Then what is f of minus x? Minus x will be, we have to replace this x with minus x. So we get tan of minus x times sine of minus x. Now, sine of minus x is negative, tan of minus x is also negative, right? So what we get here is minus tan of x times minus sine of x. Now these two negatives, they multiply to make it positive. So what you get here is f of x, which is tan x sine x. You get an idea, right? So, so when you multiply, these two negatives get cancelled off and you get tan x sine x, right? So what you get here is basically equals to tan x sine x which is same as f of x. Now, since f of minus x is f of x, this becomes an even function. 
So uh, you also learned here that if we multiply two odd functions, we do get even functions. Now, based on our learnings, what we are going to do is that we'll have some practice test questions, all multiple choice, with just this concept, correct? What I would like you to do is to sketch some more functions which are even functions, right? Like, you know, absolute function, you could sketch, for example, is an even function, correct? Cosine function is an even function, right? So there are many functions which are even functions. Now let's take a few multiple choice question to practice. So here is the first question. Which of the following is not symmetric to y axis? So when we say not symmetric to y axis, means what? Means not even, right? So means not even. Correct. Which of the following is not symmetric to y-axis? So that means not even. Now if you look into these functions, what we need to really prove is that f of minus x is not equal to f of x. Right? So you could do this for all of them. You could also sketch them and then figure out the answer. Let's do A. So let us say we have this function f of x equals to x plus 2 to the power of 4. What is f of minus x? f of minus x will be minus x plus 2 to the power of 4. Now here I could write this as, let me take minus common, right? So I'll take minus common outside. So I could write this as x minus 2 to the power of 4. Now that minus becomes positive since it is an even power but inside we get x minus 2 to the power of 4. Now this is not equal to f of x as you can see. Do you see that? So the very first a is the right answer. This is not even. So I hope that part is clear. right? Now in the next set we have which of the following is not an odd function? Not an odd function means that now if I try to find f of minus x, it should not be equal to minus of f of x. Now we just saw that this is an odd function, sine x is an odd function, right? Here, both these terms are odd. Both these terms are odd. So this is an odd function. This function here is symmetric about the point origin. So this is also an odd function. However, I think D is the answer for this particular question. But let's verify. So I'll write f of x as equal to x cubed plus x squared minus 1. Let's find what is f of minus x, right? That means replace x with negative x. So I hope this concept is clear. Now once you do that, negative x cube will give you negative x cube. This becomes positive x squared. This is negative. Now, if I want to write this with negative outside, what do I get? I get this as x cube minus x squared plus 1, right? So if you compare here, if you compare with the original function, what do you notice? You notice that the signs do not match, right? So this, these signs are not matching. Do you see that? They are not matching. So therefore, this is not equal to negative of f of x. And so, it is not odd. Perfect. So I hope this type of question is clear to you. Not odd and not even. Now here is question number three. You can always pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. How many of the following statements is or are not true? Not true, okay? So, let's look into them. y equals to sine x times cos x is an odd function. So here we know this is, this is odd, right? And this is even. So when you multiply 
even and odd, it results into what? It results into odd. So this is an odd function. A function can be both even and odd. Now that's tricky. Is it true or false? You need to figure it out. If you think that it is saying can be, even if you give one example, then that becomes true. Do you see that? So we know the first statement is true for us. We are not sure about the second one till I give you an example. So I'm waiting for you to give an example. Third one, a function which is always increasing can be. So the thing is can be, not always, can be an odd function. I think this is also true. The example is cubic function, right? So if I have this x cubed thing, right? So we know uh, it is symmetric about this particular point. Even a straight line, so that is true. For an even function, f of minus x is equals to f of x. This is also true, right? Now here I have to give you one example that a function can be both even and odd. That means it is symmetric about the point and also the axis. Is there a function? Well, there is one function definitely, um, that is the x-axis itself. So if you see this function, which is which is y equals to 0, right? Now this is symmetric about the y-axis and also the x-axis. So this is also true. So the question is, how many of the following statements is or are not true? So all are true. So the answer is A, 0. So I hope you get this concept. This is a very important question. Basically, uh, we're trying to summarize what we have learned here with the help of this question with an additional example that a function can be both even or odd. And there are very few examples. One of them is right before you, y equals to 0. Question number 4. Which of the following is symmetric about origin? So when we say symmetric about origin, it means even, right? So we are looking for even functions. Now, exponential functions, is this is neither, right? Now here, 1 plus sine x. Now sine x was an odd function. As you move it up or down, it is also neither. Cos cube x. Cos is an even function, right? Cos is an even function. And if you do cube of this, it remains even. So let's do part B, which is let f of x equals to cos of cube x. Now what is f of minus x equals to? So replace x with minus, right? So cos cube of minus x, which is same as cos cube of x, which is same as f of x, right? So which of the following is symmetric about origin? Definitely, this is symmetric about origin. Now let's look into the first part, uh, which is product of sine is an odd function, right? Times secant is like cos reciprocal is an even function. So when you multiply odd and even, what results into is an odd function. So that is not the right answer. So we could actually for once do it and then check. So let's do A uh, just to show you what is f of minus x. So it would be sine of minus x times secant minus x. Now sine of minus x is minus sine x. Secant minus x is secant x. So this is same as minus of f of x. So this function actually is an odd function. Do you see that? Right. So it's important to understand that when you multiply odd and even, you get an odd function. The answer for this question, of course, is D, cos cube x. So we have the last question for you. Which of the following is an even function? So even function means f of x, I mean, is given to you, then f of minus x is equals to f of x. So we know this is odd and this is even their combination cannot be even right so 
that is not the one so when you add them you really don't get the right kind of combination two odds will not make an even if you add them but when you multiply we could get our answer now here we have an odd function and this is also odd so when you multiply this what it results into is even so in this later half what we're trying to show you is that product of functions may change they are being even or odd, right? So let's do it. So let's say what is f of minus x for d. So it is sine of minus x times tan of minus x, which is minus sine x. Let's put this in bracket, minus tan x, which is positive sine x tan x, which is same as f of x. So this function is even, so d is the right answer so i hope this is absolutely clear now here is the last thinking question for you you need to classify the following as even odd or neither so that's your test question treat this as your test question pause your video and then look into my suggestions okay here is the solution so for the first one, let us say what is f of minus x equals to. f of minus x will be minus x cubed minus 2 times minus x plus 1. And that gives you minus x cubed plus 2x plus 1. Now, if I have to make it odd, let's take minus outside and see what happens. We get x cubed minus 2x minus 1. Now, because of this portion here, the inside function is not the same as what f of x is. So this is not equal to negative of f of x. So it's, this is neither. You get an idea, right? Now let's do the last one here. So let's find what is f of minus x equals to replace x with minus x we get tan of minus x divided by minus x minus sine of minus x now tan of minus x is negative so we get negative tan x over so this is negative x that makes it negative 2 so we get plus sine x here now we could take negative common so what we get here is tan x over x minus sine x right taking negative common and this is definitely equal to f of x so since f of minus x is f of x is an even function so now we can conclude this video and i hope you have understood the whole concept about even and odd functions now if you note this polynomial function we also can just figure out from the terms we have odd term, odd term, this is an even term, and that made it neither, right? So if you exclude plus 1, it becomes an odd function. Do you get an idea, right? So by visual inspection, you could actually answer all such questions. Now, I'd like you to go back to this uh, video and take up the examples which we took and try to answer them by just by inspection that will help you to solve multiple choice questions very fast. So I hope you enjoyed this journey of learning even an odd function. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.